But now, guys, on the way down the cabin now to uh, check a few rabbit snares I set yesterday at dark and uh, just stopped along the trail here. A bunch of rabbit tracks and a few, few leads there. I set a couple snares here as well. And then uh, while well, Lukey's off chasing something in the woods again. I don't know if you can hear the bell, but yeah, then we're gonna go and uh, check the few snares that I set yesterday just before dark. I only got a chance to set four, four snares. So we'll check those. It was a nice cold night last night. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll have something today. Where's the rabbit? Where's the rabbit? Go catch them. Go get them. All right. I got three set here. One down this lead. One in there. And one over here. In there. Way in there. But uh, three right, right together here. Lots of rabbit tracks on the go. So hopefully we'll get one in uh, one of the three here. But uh, let's head up to the cabin. I got my trailer temporarily fixed. Ran a ran a rod through the center with some washers and bolts. Pulled the bearing back on. It was broken. It wasn't really broken. It was like the bearing just came apart. So hopefully that holds for a bit. Check on the cabin. Torch on roofing is holding up. I noticed a piece of my chimney fell off there, so I gotta get that put back on. What an evening here. Here, Lukey chasing something still. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Okay, I guess I'll take a walk, check those couple rabbit snares. And we'll see if we can get some wood cut up before dark. It's three o'clock, so I got an hour, a good hour of daylight, hour and a half probably. So should have lots of time. Well, I've arrived to the very first snare. And I can see a pile of buttons there. And I can see a busted snare. So I use the six strand. Well, that's what I'm using right now for this uh, little snare line. And course it's broken off unreal so another probably half dead injured rabbit on the loose probably won't survive very long I can see blood over there on the stick so it's too bad snare number two got ourselves a bunny Nice. Well, that one didn't break at least. I'll get this guy out. We'll have a look at him. So I set these snares about 24 hours ago, right, be right before dark. Probably not even 24 hours ago. This guy's not frozen completely solid, but already you can see something, a mouse or something, been chewing on his hind quarter there a bit. So if I had this snare left, for another night without checking uh well the rabbit would be no good because he'd be half eaten probably be covered in mouse poop or whatever or not sure what ate what got at it but anyway it's one rabbit so i'd have two rabbits right now if that other snare didn't break but i've still got two snares to check so hopefully we get one more because uh the wife's uh, dad was looking for a couple of rabbits for a meal, so I'd like to get him a couple. Snare number three. Should be nice to see it, but that one hasn't been touched. This is a real nice lead, actually. You can see that going in there like a tunnel. That's his trail, and there's some older rabbit tracks right there, so I know it's being used, but I guess it wasn't used last night. So we have one more to check. What is it? Rabbit? Rabbit! Hey! Here! What's that? Rabbit! Huh? 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 What 
is it? What is it? Eh. Smell it. Oh well, check that last snare. And uh, it wasn't touched, so one out of four, not too bad for an overnight. For an overnight, you know. We got this little uh, light for the outhouse there. But I'm uh, gonna throw the old woods cart on there and uh, we'll go get a trailer full of uh, firewood. And bring it back to the cabin here. You gonna go get some wood, bud? You gonna go get some firewood? Huh? You could still chase rabbits and I'll cut firewood. Hey? Watch out. Watch out. Let's go get some wood, buddy. So yeah, the compressor pump here, this is the part that goes into the cigarette lighter or the, you know, the port for the cigarette lighter, what we used to call a cigarette lighter. So anyway, I smashed it in the, when I put this back in the box on my quad, I slammed the thing, didn't realize this was in the way, smashed it. So I had, I had another one in my garage. Another scrap one. I have a few of these scrap because these don't last very long, really. They're only 20 or 30 bucks to buy, but they never seem to last. So I've got a few scrap ones. So I'm going to try to take this, cut this, splice in. I don't think I have any electrical tape or anything here either right now. The old Prevail, still kicking. Love it. The link is always in the description for Kyle's website. Kyle knows really. He's the one who made me the prevail. And uh, apparently there's lots of them on the go now. Lots of people have bought the bought the prevail, which is pretty awesome. I do have some electrical tape. Look at that. Awesome. Hopefully this is gonna work here, bud. I got some air. Get some air in that tire. Let's go try it out, Luke. Yeah, buddy. Well, it's turned mild again. Uh, yesterday was such a beautiful day. It was, you know, really cold. And uh, actually, the last few days was really cold, and the ponds were starting to freeze and everything. I was hoping I was going to get to uh, to my other cabin site across the pond instead of using that shit trail like you guys seen in my last video there. But uh, yeah, it's turned mild again, and we got like a bunch of rain coming tomorrow. This is New Year's Eve right now. Tomorrow's New Year's Day and a bunch of rain coming. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, all the ice and any little bit of snow like this stuff will be all gone. And then uh, I think it's supposed to get cold again, but then mild again. So, I don't know, man. It's just a crazy, crazy uh, time, you know. Usually by now... I know I've had some memories on Facebook and stuff of uh, playing hockey on the ponds with the kids and stuff like before Christmas, so just sucks that nothing's freezing up yet. But anyway, just came in again today to uh, check these snares. I think I have about a dozen rabbit snares now, so we'll check those, give Lukey a little run, and uh, hopefully we get another rabbit today or a couple. Well, you talk about bad luck. Just came down, had a rabbit right here, alive, 
was jumping around. Lukey jumps off the quad, runs over to him. The rabbit busts off the snare, runs up through the trees. And of course, Lukey chases him. Now you can hear Lukey still chasing him. Unreal. Oh man, these snares, what a piss off. Look at that, man, bust it right off. Well, I guess I'll set another one here. Man, I wish I got that on camera. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Stay. Don't you run into that. Where'd he go? Anyway, that's the snare reset. Hopefully we have better luck next time. Head her down the trail and check the rest of them. Well, it looks like I'm over for three on these three here. Nothing there. Nothing there. Look, come in there. Where you go? Stay, stay, Luke. No, no. Hey, 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 this way. Come on. No. Come on. Get him, Luke. All right. I gotta keep I gotta start leaving Lukey home because I just had another live one. Right there. And Lukey again, he was running beside the quad, seen him before I did. Ran down there, rabbit bust off that snare, gone. Tried to get him to stay, but once he seen that rabbit, you know there was no uh, he was he wasn't gonna listen to me then. So I just decided to chase after Lukey to see if he could track down that rabbit. And I don't know if it, I don't know if it's the same rabbit or not, but I just seen a rabbit jump across all this grass. And poof, he was gone. I couldn't. Even, I didn't even have time to get the safety off on the shotgun. But the rabbit went this way, so we'll have a look. But he was on him for sure. Not sure if it's the same one that just broke out of the snare or not. That was probably my only chance right there to get a shot. And it was just a split second. Just seen the rabbit. I don't know if you guys seen it. Oh man, I don't know if I'll get a shot. Too busy trying to record instead of uh, having a shot. Luke, this way, buddy. This way, buddy. Stay, Luke. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Good boy, good boy, Lukey. Good boy, he's up here now. Well, last snare of the day. And he got pulled to, looks like a rabbit ran through, didn't catch him, he just bent up the snare, knocked it aside. But uh, better luck next time, I guess. I'll reset this one now and we'll head back to the cabin. Just back at the cabin, I'm gonna grab a coffee before I head home. So I was just gonna have a coffee here before I head home, but I wanted to show you guys something, a company top tests. 
sent me a gas leak detector. Now this, uh, this little pen style comes with uh, Duracell batteries. They actually sent me two, so I'm gonna keep one here at the cabin and I'm gonna use one in my ice shack because the ice shack obviously is gonna be a very small space, so I definitely don't want any, any uh, propane leaks or anything in there. But I'm gonna test this thing out right now for you guys. And um, I also have a, uh, a link for you guys. And I, I think with the link, this thing is only 30 bucks. So if you use my link in the description, uh, you can get one of these for 30 bucks. I think they're orange or green, but obviously I would pick the orange because uh, you know if you if you drop it, lose it or something, it'd be easier to find. But definitely not necessary to get the orange. So turn it on. I, I don't know how to use it yet. I'm just reading the the uh, instructions, but I just seen that it needs 30 seconds to warm up. And what it does, you can test any gas lines or uh, bottles if you have uh, the propane bottles or whatever you can uh, test it with this and it'll give you a warning if there's any leaks but this does not replace like your standard um, gas leak detector like you would have like a smoke alarm or anything okay I know it has different uh, sensitivities and stuff but let's just go over and have a try but I'll just turn this propane on a little bit see what happens here So it was pretty much immediate. Okay. I'll turn it on again, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to, I'll, I'll go in with it slowly to see when it picks up. Not sure if you can hear the propane. Look at that. That's pretty sensitive. I do have the door open just to let you guys know. But that's pretty neat. You know, if you uh, hook up propane, or if you have a cabin with propane or anything, like I said with my Link, these are only 30 bucks. They come with Duracell batteries, so not cheap batteries. And yeah, Top Test is the uh, company if you guys want to check them out. But you'll be seeing this in a lot more, uh, a lot more videos, especially once I get that ice shack going there. But uh, pretty impressed with how sensitive that is. Pretty awesome. Be nice to have like a hot tent camping and stuff as well if you're using propane in there for anything. Or like I said, those portable ice shacks. You know, you have those propane heaters and stuff. So this will give you a warning if, if uh, it's getting too much fumes in there or anything. Okay, so it has different sensitivities. So with the light off on the S, um, so the light off, is 500 to 1000 parts per million when the light is on like that it's 50 to 500 parts per million so different sensitivities it has a low battery warning that's good to know also has this pretty neat little case so i'm going to keep mine in here obviously I'm gonna keep it with my stove there, beside my propane stove. Top Test provides a 36 month after sales service and lifetime technical support. So that's pretty good, three years. So if you guys want more information on that or you wanna check them out, go check out Top Test. Thank you to those guys for sending me, sending me a couple. And uh, yeah, use my link in the description and uh, they're 30 bucks, so that's pretty cool. So the American, my American link for the American Amazon, it's $19.99, so that's US. And my Canadian link, it's $29.99. And of course that's free delivery with Prime. And you could get the orange or the green. Pretty cool. 
So anyway, guys, hope you like that product. I still have a couple of products to review. I have um, I have my Hardland pants that I've been wearing forever now. So I got to get that review out for those guys. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with them, actually. Pretty happy with the pants. There's no, uh, there's no downfall with these pants. They're tough as nails, comfortable, light. So I really like those pants. And I have to uh, do the Blue Eddy review. The power bank there, solar generator. So I'll get that out soon, too. Anyway, guys, just going to enjoy the rest of my coffee. And then we're going to head home. Lukey and me, Lukey's pretty tired there now. He's gonna have a good couch nap when he gets home and gets a supper. Hey, look, you gonna have a good couch nap, buddy? I can see the water rising off of the, the vapor from the, cause he's wet. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for all the support in uh, 2022. Um, I'm still almost 300 away from uh, 20,000, so obviously not gonna hit that or the end of the year but I think it's because I put out the last few videos I put out ha have had guns in them so YouTube hasn't pushed it out as much as a, a normal video but that's okay I'm not gonna stop you know hunting or, or making squirrel soup or whatever because YouTube doesn't like it I'm gonna do what you know what I want to do and, and I enjoy these things so that's what I'm gonna record and uh, you know, if YouTube doesn't like it or anyone else doesn't like it, well, you don't have to watch. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, thanks again for the support in 2022. And I uh, hope everyone has a great 2023, has a great, safe New Year's. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next year. Dad joke. Dad jokes. Dad got jokes. Ha! Take care, guys.